Yeah, what's going on everybody, Llama here, and we've got some Gears of War 4 gameplay, playing the game mode Dodgeball, which is a new game mode to Gears of War 4, it might have been in the beta, I don't remember playing it at all, we are on the map Foundation here, which is one of the better maps, not the biggest fan of some of these uh, maps that shipped with the game, but the game is pretty fun overall, now how Dodgeball works, it's pretty similar to Warzone or Execution, you have 5v5 teams, now in those game modes there is no respawn, it's not like Team Deathmatch where you start out with 15 lives and hit uh Loses all of them the quickest is the loser in that game. So this works as you see. I kill one of their guys. They're down to four guys. Kill another guy. They're down to three. Now they have three remaining guys. If one of those guys kills somebody on our team, then that will revive a guy. It's kind of like dodgeball in a way. I guess that's why they named it that. I sound retarded trying to explain the uh, rules of dodgeballs. So basically, they're down to two guys. If they kill one of us, then they get the chance to revive another person. If they kill another one of us, they can revive another one, and they can bring their entire team back that way. But as you can see, this round, I was playing with some randoms, and um, I think they get kind of destroyed this round. So using the Nasher shotgun here, which a lot of people are complaining about the... Uh, Hit detection. The hit detection is not bad. I've been kicked out of a bunch of servers. I think their uh, connections aren't the greatest in this game. It is uh, kind of a pre-release of the game. It's not even out until Tuesday yet. But um, yeah, the best advice I can give with the Nasher shotgun is just aim because when people are just um, hip firing it, that's when I seem to lose a lot of gun battles. So what I'll do is try to hip fire. If I get one hit, I'm gonna aim and try to take him out with two. Because Nasher, um, if you're super close up, you can drop him in one shot with an execution kill. If you're in uh, like a three to four feet distance, two kills or two bullets, if it hits their body, is more than enough to drop them. So you can get an easy kill there. And then I'm using the uh, lancer here. I've been going back and forth between the hammer burst and the lancer. Um, it really depends what map and what game that you're playing. I'm playing a lot of uh, King of the Hill. When you get maps like Gridlock, I would definitely recommend the hand hammer burst. Anytime the uh, hill is somewhere near the center of the map, you can kind of just go up towards high elevation and just destroy people and pick them off really easy with the hammer burst but close quarter combat maps I like to have the lancer just because it shoots faster now one aiming tip with the lancer is when you're aiming with a gun if you move where you aim your crosshairs are going to get bigger and your accuracy is going to suck worse so if you're shooting somebody stay in the same spot and keep shooting them. even when your red ring comes up what a lot of people do is make the mistake of trying to take cover but if you know you're putting the same amount of damage in them as they are doing to you then just stay there and uh try to fight it out and most of the time they usually win those gun battles if it's lancer versus lancer so we lose that round as you can see four three and one so far four kills three downs and one death now something else definitely be aware of is where the power weapons are in the map so a lot of people aren't going after the power weapons and i find that to be a big mistake so how to pull the uh, power weapons up is if you hold the right bumper down it'll show you where all your teammates are and then it'll show you all the power weapons on the map so going down here to the boom shot fighting this guy you can see he gets a really good hit um, teammate luckily he saves me there. I was trying to aim, but a lot of people are doing a crap little wall bouncing. But the people on right now, like I said, are good players because they spent an extra $40 to play this game early. So once the uh, full game comes out Tuesday, I think they're going to be a lot crappier players on. So far now, um, stats aren't the greatest. I think it's a little bit under like 1.5 KD, but I've just been running around having fun. I think I'm level 17, 18. Game's pretty fun so far. Campaign mode, I am about one chapter. I'm on chapter 2. Or Act 2, like Chapter 2 or 3 or something. really haven't played too much of the campaign, just about an hour and a half in. It's fun so far, but I love Gears 1 multiplayer. It's my favorite thing to play. Um, I'm going to put a video up. Actually, I put one up on my second, or my main channel, but um, I didn't commentate it. It's Game Mode Arms Race, which is probably my favorite game mode I'll play on this. It's pretty fun. Um, there'll be a link to that video in the info if you want to check it out. Basically, how that works is... Everybody starts off with like a boom shot. You get three kills with it. You don't have to get three kills, just your teammates have to get three kills on the other team. You switch weapons and it keeps progressing. Sniper rifle, uh, drop shot, stuff like that. Once you progress through all 12 power weapons, the first one to do that wins the game. So it's really fun when everybody starts out with a power weapon because if you play TDM in this game, you get a lot of really good teams who uh, just dominate with power weapons and kind of spawn camp people. So I've been pretty much just stuck to the... Uh, regular social playlist that does have bots in it, but I haven't gotten uh, too many games with bots. There's been a lot of people in the game so far. I tried ranked, but it was just taking way too long to find a game, but overall, the game's pretty fun. Definitely recommend picking it up. I am going to get uh, Infinite Warfare, uh, just for Call of Duty Remastered, but I see myself playing a lot of this game. It's just really fun. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a YouTube hit. I don't think it might be a fun Twitch game to stream, but it's not just like four and five minute TDM games like Call of Duty is, but it is a lot of fun. I was playing solo here, so if anyone wants to play, add me on Xbox, uh, put my gamer tag in the info, you can probably see it on the screen. I send a message that says like Gears 4 or something like that, I'll add a bunch of people because I need some uh, 
people to play with usually on at night and stuff. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to end this commentary now. There's five minutes left. I got absolutely nothing left to talk about. So, I'm going to make some more Gears of War commentaries. Probably going to go play this game now. So, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you like the video, and uh, more videos to come. Thank <laughs> you. 